so many darts. They're everywhere. They get in all of the places. Every time I have Lucha Thor over, it gets crazier and crazier with the darts. What up dude bros, I'm Frank, this is a video overview of my new dart net. I recently posted up a video on my Instagram and I got a bunch of comments asking about its design and where I bought it and where they could buy one. So this is just a video overview of this thing. Man, that looks like it's too long and complicated and too expensive. I'm fat and lazy, there's gotta be a simpler way. We're going to make a thing. So this is going to be like super freaking simple. This thing right here, Walmart mainstays folding laundry hamper thing. It was like six bucks. And then a little tiny bag of laundry to go with it. Like, so Walmart, like, I don't know, like eight bucks total, maybe. And then conveniently Home Depot was located right next to my Walmart. I picked up three of the long things of half inch PVC. This was like, I think $2, yeah, 189 per length. I got three just to be safe. Three should be enough PVC. This is it cut in half because it wouldn't fit in my car any other way. So that's like, what, six bucks right there? Then you're gonna need some PVC fittings to go with this. Uh, freaking really? Here, that, like eight of these things. These were like 90 cents each. It's like the most expensive part of the entire build. We got those and you're probably gonna need some zip ties. That would be useful. And something to cut with, I guess. That's a thing. And theoretically, that should be all that we need to get this done. So step one isn't gonna be that hard. What you really need to do is just like grab your PVC and the four lengths to make the height, cut them all to even. So whatever you want, no exact measurements. I kind of want mine a little bit taller. So we'll make it a little bit taller. But yeah, just cut it to whatever length, height you need. Next, you're gonna wanna cut eight equal pieces of whatever you have left. You know what? If you're making it exceptionally tall like I am, you might wanna go with like four lengths of this. Thankfully, I already have some extra half inch PVC. So yeah, eight equal lengths of whatever next. This will obviously be the base and the top that the dart catcher will rest on. Much to exact, tight tolerances, yes. <laughs> assemble a box. I assume you know how to assemble a box. Voila, there's the frame. He may have left all the darts on the floor, but he also left the Baja Blast. Put the thing on the thing. Uh, might be a, might be a little too big. I guess it could have been slightly thinner, but whatever. That works for me or decide to put it on the bottom since that's like more blaster height anyway. Perfect, now to do that four more times. 
Now, obviously, darts are just going to, like, hit this and then bounce off. We need a container for darts, and that's where the laundry bag comes in. We're going to use this to catch our darts, and it would probably be the best to, like, make this magnetic so you can just rip it off, empty the bag, put it back, or to just put the bucket here. Can this support the... There's no way it would support the... Well, maybe if I use more zip ties... Hmm. Because then I would have a bucket that... No, no, there's no way... No, maybe magnets? You know what? Screw it. We're just going to use the bag for right now. So with extreme rate of fire, we're still having some issues because they're hitting the back of the thing and bouncing off, but, but still a majority of the rounds are still in fact landing in the bag. I would say like 99% of the rounds are actually landing in the bag. The ones that aren't are the ones I'm missing with. Good to know. Can it handle, say, super powerful long shot? Hmm. And one more, just to be sure. Works fine. So these things are just zip tied to the roof of the cage right now. So basically what happens is if a dart hits that, it will bunch up. Then it will let go, which will absorb all of the kinetic energy, and this drop down into the bag. If it hits behind, like through here, it should just bounce off, hit the backside, and drop down. And these are just the little things that are supposed to clip right there. In fact, I could still clip it if I wanted to for whatever reason. It will actually go to the back as well. So if you are just wanting to angle, like, rival rounds in there, you totally can. not for... What I paid to build something like this and the amount of time it took, I'd say this is adequate. I know Coops is like the end game, really nice, beautiful setup. I don't really have the energy and I definitely had a hard time trying to find some kind of netting. I looked at screen door material too. That was kind of the next thing I was going to use, but this was considerably cheaper. And for most people, this is going to be perfectly fine. Um, I mean, it's got a big enough entry point where it's really easy to hit shots in there. Maybe something to cover up the sides right here, like the little bit of fabric that was left over would be a good idea because those kind of stick out. And yeah, it will kind of bunch up some rounds right there. I could use a few more zip ties, I guess, to kind of clear that off. But otherwise, I mean, it works pretty freaking good for how little effort was put into it. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you do build one, let me know. If you have any questions or ideas on how to improve it that are relatively simple, because again, this was supposed to be simple, brain dead, easy, anybody could build this. Let me know down in the comments section. But other than that, I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta